Hi everyone, it's Aga from EurekaCrystalBeats.com and this is the first of five quick tutorial videos in the series where I show you more ideas to use our cosmic cluster design which you can make with our beadway boxes. Before I get started, just a quick reminder to check out the rest of our channel and if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so we always know when we're posting new content. Now for those of you who don't know them, Beadway Boxes are Eureka exclusive color coordinated bead sets, which you can use however you like of course, but they also feature easy video tutorials for a design using these very beads in the box. So at the moment we have three uh, different designs and each has three colorways. So we have the tiny diamond dangle beadway box, we have the baroque blossom beadway box, and then we have the cosmic cluster beadway box. So these are the three uh, designs. And if you're watching this around fall 2023, we've just released limited series of fall colorways of these designs of these beadway boxes. So uh, this is what the fall colorway for the tiny diamond dangles looks like. They're kind of, I don't know, cartoonish or like a big pile of like all different sorts of leaves when you walk like through the park in the evening. So that's what they remind me of. Then we have the Baroque Blossom new colorway, which is like vintage stained glass, sort of, in my opinion. And we have the fall colorway for the cosmic cluster design. Each box allows you to make multiple elements using the main tutorials. So in this video uh, series that I'm starting now, this is the first video, uh, I'm going to show you five different pieces of jewelry that you can make with the cosmic cluster design. So after you make these basic stud earrings that we show you in the original video tutorial, which will be linked down below, and along with uh, other tutorials for the remaining two designs. So after you make these, you can make lots of other jewelry to match, and I'm going to show you how. I will be using the uh, limited fall colorway here for this. So let's start first up, simple dangle earrings. So what do you do if you want to make a dangle earring with a cosmic cluster design? So to make the cosmic cluster design into a dangle earring, you're just going to need the beadway box. Here I already started my design and I'm at the point where I'm going to be doing the thing that's going to make it into a dangle earring. You're also going to need some earring finding that you want to hang your earring on and depending on how your loop is located, you might also need a jump ring or two jump rings for two earrings. You're going to need some thread, I already have some here, and a needle here I have size 11 and size 12 if you have problem with getting through the 15s or with the multiple passes in the design. and. Perhaps you're going to also need some pliers to open and close the jump ring. Okay, so I've put the thread that I'm working with on my needle. This is like the tail thread that I will be hiding after I finish my design. And I'm at the point where I've added the bugle bead and I will be going around adding 15 -0 over here at the top and a bugle bead blocked with a demi round in between these like star arms or sections. So in here normally what I would do is I would add a 15 -0. and by the way I'm going to need beads for that. Okay so instead of adding a single 15 -0, as I normally would over here on top of this uh, arm of the star or petal of the flower, like here, I'm going to make a loop with a 15 -0 so that I can later put a jump ring in them. And how I do it is I put one 15 -0 first, this is going to be like the main one, but I also want to make a loop around it with five more 15 -0s. and what I do 
is I make a circle around this bead in here and I go through it from the other end. So in total I have six beads on this thread here. Pull through. Like that. And I want it to be secure, so I'm just going to go through all of these beads again. Right, and this was the original bead that I first added, and that would be the top 15 0 in this row if I were going normally. And that's it. I basically added a loop. You can add more 15 0s if you want the loop bigger, because, for example, you want to use a lower gauge uh, jump ring. So, this is all you do, and you just continue to make your design as described in the original tutorial. So I will be taking a bugle, blocking it with a demi round. And all around I'm just going to be adding single 15 o's on top of that petal uh, here. So like in there I'll just add a single 15 o and I just continue my design as normal. Right, and now it's time to put this element onto our uh, earring post. So I'm just picking up the jump ring, opening it up enough so that the loop can go through. And I'm adding the earring post, making sure that uh, it's facing the front, just like the element. Closing up the jump ring. Make sure it's tightly closed so that your cosmic cluster element does not fall off. Right, so that is tight. And there, you've made dangle earrings out of the Cosmic Cluster design. In other quick videos from this series, I will show you how to make sort of a different kind of dangle earrings using the Cosmic Cluster design. I'll also show you how to make a ring, a bracelet, and a necklace. So stay tuned. Remember that all of the materials that I've shown you today in a box or separately you can get at EurekaCrystalBeads.com. Uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye!